Hello YouTube, it's Lager1188. Hello, that's me, and let me turn this down so I'm not too late. Um, I was tagged by X The Music, um, and as a result, I am compelled to tell you five interesting facts about myself whilst uh, doing this sort of Let's Play thing. Um, and then I've got to tag nine other people. Um, so say the rules, apparently, um, because that's how I roll like a rule-loving bitch. Um, this, uh, Sonic, uh, I, he's done a, an early game for him that was quite important, and uh, like a copycatting little bitch again, um, I'm doing a game that was quite important for me early on. Um, this is Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic and Tails, um, one of my first ever experiences of uh, computer games. And I fucking loved every minute of this game. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. I've never actually completed it. Mainly because you pretty much... I'm going to go back and get that. Mainly because you pretty much... Oh, fuck. You pretty much always need someone to play Tails. Because the boss battles get far too difficult towards the end. And Tails has got infinite lives. Um, the point being... Um, interesting fact number one is that a Mega Drive was the first console I owned. And... Um, I'm very glad that that's the case. This game, this game specifically, has brought me hours and hours of what I would call literally joy. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I've got Altered Beast on here from the um, Sega's now just a software developer. I've also got Altered Beast, um, which is a, an original game that was fantastic as well. Uh, no special stages, but I did get through the first one. Um, Zorlance has got a version of Sonic 3, but this is Sonic 2. This is my personal favourite. I've played Sonic 3, it was very, very good. And watch his Let's Play, go and watch his Let's Play, it's very good. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, the Mega Drive was the first console I owned properly. Um, I didn't have a Nintendo. Um, I was a huge Sonic fan until uh, I got my Nintendo 64. That was like, that was the first, uh, that was when I became a Nintendo fanboy. So that's uh, that's the interesting fact number one. How long have we had? Two minutes. Oh fucking! I'm gonna have to stretch this out, am I? Um, interesting fact number two. Yeah. So this is my first gaming experience. Interesting fact number two is uh, what have I done with my life? Um, oh yeah. Um, last summer, Muse played at Wembley Stadium, and oh, I can't play. I can't do that bonus game either. Muse played at Wembley Stadium, and um, I won tickets on Lauren Laverne's breakfast show to go and uh, to go and see that. And as far as I'm aware, um, I was the first person in the country to, or in the world, as far as I know, to win tickets um, to see to go to Wembley Stadium. Because at that point, um, I think the FA Cup final was announced and everything like that, but the tickets hadn't gone on sale because obviously they didn't know who was going to play. Um, and I'm pretty sure at that point, oh here we go, special stage, George Michael hadn't sold his tickets. I think Muse announced theirs first. Maybe George Michael announced his first. But the tickets wouldn't have gone on sale anyway. But as far as I know, I'm, as far as I'm aware, I'm the first person in the world to have got tickets to an event at Wembley Stadium. It wasn't the first event, but as, you know, I was the first person to get tickets to the new Wembley Stadium. Um, and that's not a brag, but because as I say, you know, that's as far as I'm aware. I could be wrong. Um, statistically, I mean, first member of the public. I mean, uh, people like the members of the FA and stuff like that obviously don't count. But as far as yeah, as far as I'm aware, that's my accomplishment, um, which doesn't really count. Although I did stay up all night waiting for the competition in a, in a vain hope that I'd get through. Um, turns out it wasn't so vain at all because I did get through. Um, yeah, interesting fact number three. Um, I have a heart condition. Um, some of you. Uh, it's not a disease or anything like that, um, so I'm not going to die. I won't stop doing these Let's Plays anytime soon. Um, but some of you might remember, oh Christ, I don't know, three, five years ago, something like that. Tony Blair was in hospital. Um, now, you know, I don't really wish to make this public, but he was in hospital with a mild heart condition. It's called superventricular tachycardia, and as far as I'm aware, I don't think we had the same doctor, but we we had the same condition, which is basically. Um, I'm one of my valves does something I think and every now and again or it's something to do with my pacemaker the heart's got like three or different pacemakers in it um, and one of mine goes mental every now and again for 
as far as I can say, as far as I can tell, no apparent reason. Um, it's not even like it's not even something useful. Like every time, oh fucking balls! It's not even something fucking tits. It's not even something useful. Like every time I get an erection or anything like that, when I wouldn't obviously know it would be coming. Um, but yeah, so I get that, and I have to sit down for five minutes. Um, that's the interesting fact I can come up with there. That's my third interesting fact. That every now and again, I just have to sit down and take it. Fuck! And take it easy. Um, cool, you're really getting to know me now. Um, interesting fact number four. I mean, how long have I had? Um, I just need some rings, basically. Uh, that was all I come back here for. How long have I had? Six minutes. Okay, that's, that's about right. Interesting fact number four. Um... I've had a couple of jobs as a waiter, I've worked in a call centre, and at the moment I work in a betting shop. But um, my favourite job of all was one weekend I was a steward at the Tea in the Park Festival. Um, it was headlined by, it was a, it was last summer I think, 2007. Um, block party, I, get to, I, I was uh, stationed on the main stage under one of the sound towers for the first uh, night where I got to stand basically on a hill with a great view of um, the coral. Eh, Lily Allen. Eh, block Party. Yeah, new album out tomorrow. And uh, the Arctic Monkeys, who were touring their second album. Excellent. Um, I also got to see... Um, what the fuck is his name? Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys. That was excellent. Um, some... Somalian refugees who had formed like a ska reggae band, that was amazing. Damien Rice, Air, the French electro weird band, um, and uh, a few other things as well. Uh, that was excellent. I spent, I did have to spend the weekend with some uh, racists who uh, were known by the people that got me the ticket, uh, got me the pass to do all the security stuff. Um, so that wasn't ideal, uh, but nevertheless, come on, Sonic, but nevertheless, um, it was a it was a brilliant weekend where I got paid to stand and watch music essentially and make sure other people didn't fuck about. Um, and honestly, I got I worked from Wednesday to Sunday night. And if you can find a better job than that, um, if you could let me know, that would be brilliant. Especially one that's related with music and things like that. Oh balls! Knew that was going to happen. Um, yeah, so that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. That was something I did with my life that uh, I'm not entirely ashamed of. Um, okay, interesting fact number five is uh, I was in a band. Wait a minute, I hear you say. You're 19, not for long, by the way. 20 on Tuesday, so any birthday messages would be well received. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, no, yeah, yeah, I hear you say, oh, everyone was in a band. We're all teenagers here, for Christ's sake. Well, my band... Um, and again, this is sort of sounds like a brag, but in a non-arrogant way, um, we played a fireworks festival uh, in, so in South Woodham Ferries the, at the Rotary Club. We played at the Essex Rotary Club, and we once played in front of 250 people, um, approximately. That would be a rough guess. I'd say it was anywhere up to five. 500 would be being incredibly generous. Would be be would be being would be. Yeah, that's, no, no, that's that's English, that works. Um, yeah, 500 would be incredibly generous, but I think, uh, yeah, 250 sounds about right. Um, if you want to hear what we sound like, I might even be able to, f if we've still got that MySpace page, I might even be able to find a link to our band, and if I can put that up there. Um, we did at one point have EPs for sale, but due to popular demand, I think we might have actually sold, oh, balls! I think we might have sold out. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, so I was, I was done in a band. I done was in a band. That done happened. Um, oh, you bastard. Um, so yeah, and that's fact number five. So um, Sonic was my first game. I won tickets to see Muse at Wembley and was the first person in the world to do so, as far as I'm aware. Um, I have a heart condition. I stewarded at Tea in the Park um, for one of the best weekends of my life. And um, I was in a band that played, we did all right, you know, we we didn't quite cover the costs of making the CD, but uh, we did all right. Um, but I'm running out of time now, that's 10 minutes, that's my limit. Um, so fucking balls. Um, uh, so I better name all the people that I'm gonna do. 
Um, some of these people have done videos, some of them haven't, so uh, while I play, um, I'm not entirely sure what Sonic's going to be doing, but I'm going to say them out loud. Uh, if your name is on this list, um, I'm doing yeah, I'm doing this video first so I can get this out loud, I need to do this quickly. Okay, Raven Zio, uh, who's my 50th subscriber by the way, thank you very much for that. Cognell, Lil Red Button, Purple and Orange Rhyme, Dark Minded Sith, Shin Shinigami37, Shinigami37, Dark as the Night 06, Amber Gambler, and Ricarda4141. Uh, if your name's on that list, I'd like to see your reply to this video. Some of you have done videos and some of you haven't, um, but those are the people that I'd like to tag. Um, but that's the end of my video, so I'll have to see you later. Sonic, say goodbye. Bye.